Are 3D printed saddles the way to get better comfort for your butt and improve performance from your unique anatomy? Well, in this video, I'll try to answer that question. Hi, I'm Steve from In The No Cycling, the independent, ad-free, and sponsor-free YouTube channel and website for regular cycling enthusiasts like you and me who want to save time and money choosing the best gear to improve our cycling performance and our experience. One of the most frequent requests I get from fellow enthusiasts who spend hours and hours riding our bikes each week is to review and recommend saddles. But knowing how different our anatomies are, or how different our riding profiles and riding positions are, I never really see how testing saddles could conclude anything more than which one is best for me or someone else doing the testing, rather than what saddles are best for a group of road cyclists like those of you who read or watch my reviews. Our differences are why there is a dizzying number and array of saddles available to riders. They vary in shape, length, width, curvature, pad density, cutouts or depressions, the shells and rails that, uh, that they use. And the best bike shops and fitters don't recommend just one saddle or let you ride off without hesitation on a new bike with the saddle that came with it. Instead, they'll analyze and adjust your bike and saddle fit and suggest a, and allow you to ride several saddles until you find one that fits you well and that you like riding. Now, saddles with a pad of polymer material created to a unique specification by a 3D printer, well, they hold the potential to create a custom fit bike seat that's ideally suited to all that is unique about you, your body, and your cycling. However, to cut to the chase, most of the 3D printed saddles that we tested don't deliver on that potential. And even when they do, such a saddle won't be the exclusive answer to getting comfort and performance from a bike seat or may even be necessary. But if you've worked on the other pieces of your fit puzzle or tried a range of foam saddles and still aren't as comfortable as you'd like, well, the 3D printed saddles that we tested can give you added comfort and, depending upon how aggressively you ride, also give you improved performance. For this review, my fellow testers and I, with our different anatomies and riding profiles, well, we tested a range of 3D printed saddles. Our goal was to share our experience and tell you whether we think there is value in switching to one of them from the traditional foam or gel padded saddle. We tested two from Physique that they brand as Adaptive Saddles, two from Specialized that they call Mirror, and one from a company called Posedla. Their saddle is called the Joy Seat. Miles, a master's road gravel, cyclocross, and mountain bike racer, he's used the Physique and Terry's foam saddles on all of his drop bar bikes for about five years now. He tested the 3D printed version of the Antares, on his giant propel aero road bike. Nate, who leads the A group rides in our club, well, he rides the specialized power mirror comp on his specialized S-Works Avenge road bike. He tested the Physique Vento Argo adaptive saddle. I've been riding the specialized Roman saddles on my road and gravel bikes. And I tested the 3D printed Roman on these bikes, including one that's dedicated to my trainer. I also tested the custom-made 3D printed Posedla Joy Seat on my dedicated Parley Altum road bike. Now Posedla, they configured my Joy Seat's dimensions and the pad density by using pictures I sent to them of the impression I made, or I should be more accurate, uh, the butt print my bottom made from sitting in a box of foam that they sent to me that they call the Smiling Butt Kit. They also asked uh, about a dozen questions which I answered on things like the, the bike I plan to use the saddle on, my flexibility and my riding style, my weight and height and my hip and thigh circumference, my age and gender, and my average and annual ride length. Our last tester, uh, who I'll call Dean for reasons I'll explain a little bit later, he's a dedicated and strong B group rider and leader. He's been using the Cell SMP Dynamic saddle that came with his Cannondale Super 6 Evo road bike that he bought about five years ago. Over about six months, he's tried four 3D printed saddles, the same specialized Roman Physique Antares, Physique Vento that we also tested, and a specialized S-Works Power Mirror in that order. 
Now these 3D printed saddles that I've mentioned uh, that we tested range in price from $260 to $490, depending upon the shell and rail materials and whether they are customized or not. You can see all the details about the prices, the materials, and the weights of each of the different models that we tested in my full review on the In the Know Cycling website using the link in the description box below. You can also find links to stores I vetted and recommend that carry these saddles in that description box. And when you use those links to buy these saddles, you'll support this channel and the In the Know Cycling website because some of these stores provide a commission on whatever you buy that I'll put towards our review and technology costs. This allows me to keep these videos ad-free and sponsor-free and free of commercial buys and interruptions, except at least for this one. Now, Miles, Nate, and I, well, we've all been happy with the comfort and the performance of our foam saddles. We tested these 3D printed models really to see if, if we could do better and to understand this new technology and what it was all about. Dean, on the other hand, he tested the 3D printed saddles in search of one that would alleviate the sit bone pain that he gets on rides longer than a couple of hours. Miles, Nate, and I found the 3D printed saddles we tested provided some added comfort in certain situations. The amount of give or resistance in the sit bone area, they vary quite a bit. For example, the Antares Adaptive and Roman Mirror feel far more cushiony than the Vento Argo Adaptive. The Power Mirror slots somewhere in between them. Miles found the 3D printed Antares saddle only slightly more comfortable compared to his foam Antares on long rides. Nate, on the other hand, didn't feel that there was anything transformative about his riding experience with the Vento Argo compared to his regular foam power saddle. Me, I began testing the 3D printed Roman in the winter on my trainer bike. I immediately felt added comfort compared to my foam Roman saddle and could do comfortably two hour plus indoor rides when my training plan called for it. Not that I really wanted to, but I couldn't get the same comfort with the same saddle once I got out on the road. And despite trying a few different saddle positions set up by my bike fitter. However, when I moved that same saddle over to my gravel bike, well, it gave me a lot more comfort than I'd ever had with the foam version of the Roman. The Posedla joy seat I put on my road bike in place of the Roman foam and mirror models actually seemed as firm or perhaps a bit more so than the foam Roman models I've been riding for years. Yet that Posedla joy seat saddle is more comfortable with my bike on the trainer and road than my foam Roman. That's probably due to the fact that it was customized specifically for me. Now, Dean hasn't found any of the 3D printed saddles he's tried relieves the sit bone discomfort he feels from his current foam saddle once he extends his ride beyond a couple of hours. So what might explain our different experiences with the comfort of 3D saddles? Well, I think each of them has the potential to give added comfort to some riders. Only a custom configured one like the joy seat is made to do that for a rider with a specific profile as opposed to the others which are made for a segment of riders with similar profiles. From our testing, it appears that you have to test multiple 3D printed saddles just like you have to test multiple foam ones to find one that best suits your anatomy and all the details of your, your riding profile. And as Miles and I found, even the same 3D printed model of the foam saddle that's worked for us for years can but doesn't always lead to a big or any comfort improvement in all situations. Now my bike fitter, he sells a range of saddle brands and models, including the ones that we tested. He told me he would ideally like to see a 3D printer in his store or at a nearby service center that could produce a custom made saddle for his clients. Bike shops, you know, they already can make custom footbeds and they use 3D motion capture technology to adjust or replace cockpit components as part of a fit that optimizes comfort and, and performance. And they already have sit bone measurement and pressure mapping tools, but they can't make a custom saddle from the data they get from those tools. They can only really use it to recommend several saddles for you to try. Nate, who I can always trust to be direct, was clear about the bike seat that he tested. 
He said, it isn't a 3D printed saddle specifically designed for my butt. Its shape and areas of softer versus firmer cushioning are just as arbitrary for my best fit as any traditional saddle. So when choosing between non-custom 3D printed saddles or between VAM and foam saddles, it kind of looks like we're back to the existing process of riding a series of saddles over time to find one that fits best. Custom made 3D printed saddles like the Posedla Joy Seat do show the potential and for me did deliver on the ability to improve my comfort and performance. And by the way, if you're getting something from this video and want to see more like it, well then please hit the subscribe and thumbs up buttons below. That will tell me that you want more videos like this and help get the word out to other cyclists. Thanks. If you're looking to get more comfort from a 3D printed saddle, it's important not to lose sight of the overall bike fit when you choose between them. You know, your saddle is just one part of the, of the puzzle. The other pieces are your frame geometry and the size and positioning of your seat post, your stem, your handlebars, your crank set, and your pedals. Miles had to lower his seat post about six or seven millimeters when he switched to the 3D printed Physique Antares with its taller rails from the foam padded Antares. And it took him three or four rides to settle on that position. When I switched from the Roman foam to the 3D printed Roman on my road bike, my fitter moved the saddle two centimeters higher and three centimeters further back after two fit sessions. Dean duplicated the height, fore and aft, and nose angle of each of the 3D printed saddles that he tested to put it in the same position as his foam saddle, which was also uncomfortable on longer rides. And as I record this video, Dean and I are doing an eight week pedal stroke class to learn how to, to use our glutes better to deliver more power. During the very first class, the instructor, a collegiate level cycling coach and a long tenured bike fitter, well, he noted a pronounced asymmetry in Dean's pedal stroke. After a complete bike fit later that week, coach repositioned Dean's saddle and the cleat on one of his shoes. Now it's too soon to tell whether the fit and saddle changes will offer Dean the relief that he hopes for. But without the fit adjustments, it's unlikely that Dean would ever find comfort on long rides, regardless of which saddle he tries. While I focused on the potential comfort benefits of 3D printed saddles until now, comfort should also lead to better performance. Yet in some of our testing, the exposed 3D printed lattice on these saddles affected our performance. Miles and Nate, my fastest and most aggressive fellow testers, well, they found the grippy surface prevented them from gliding or sliding their position in the saddle during a ride. Racers and enthusiasts who ride more aggressively, they move their butt back to get more power on climbs, they move it forward to get more aero going downhill, and they move it side to side for more control in the corners. Specialized, they seem to have accounted for this issue although not consciously, with their recently introduced Power Expert Mirror Saddle that I've also listed in the description box below. It uses a cover over its combination of 3D printed pad in the sit bone area and foam padding elsewhere. But the company stated its purpose for the cover is to quote, keep mud and debris out of the nooks and crannies of the 3D lattice. And the quote, hammock effect they say they've created in the sit bone area seems contrary to the more consistent pressure an aggressive rider would want as they move around on the saddle. Endurance riders and non-racing enthusiasts like me, we don't typically move our position in the saddle much or frequently, and if we do, it's probably because we aren't comfortable and are looking to relieve the pressure on our sit bones more than to ride more aggressively. When riding my gravel bike, I'll deliberately get out of the saddle to move my weight back when I go downhill or to lean my bike into the corner while keeping my weight out over the outside pedal. That's likely why the more forgiving 3D Roman is comfortable riding over rough surfaces on my gravel bike as I don't move forward or back with my weight still in the saddle. As I mentioned earlier, Miles, Nate, and I, well, we were happy with our existing foam saddles before we started testing the 3D printed ones. Only Dean was looking for a saddle to give him more comfort on long rides. A 3D printed saddle ultimately may solve his discomfort, but he first needed to get a fit to find out. Costs aside, Nate and Miles wouldn't choose to ride the 3D printed saddles they tested over their foam padded ones, principally because of the way the surface limited their movement in the saddle. 
Dean, on the other hand, he told me he would spend almost anything for a more comfortable saddle. While I was happy with my foam padded Roman on my road bike rides, on my gravel bike rides, and for all but the longest trainer rides, I'm even happier with the Roman mirror on my gravel bike and the Posedla joy seat on my road and trainer bikes now. I don't think the improvement is so great that I would pay more than twice the price it would cost me if I had to replace one of my Romans. But if you haven't found a standard foam or gel cycling saddle that gives you the fit and comfort that you want or that you need, the custom configured Posedla joy seat is the best 3D printed saddle that we've tested and it may just be worth it to you to buy it. The non-custom 3D printed saddles from Physique and Specialize cost slightly less than the Joy Seat and are available almost immediately from online stores or your local bike shop. If you test several and find one that gives you markedly better comfort and performance for your anatomy and the kind of riding that you do, well, that could be a good value for you. In the comments section below, let me know what you're looking for from a saddle. And if you've tried them, what your experience has been with a 3D printed one. Your feedback can help fellow cyclists decide what they might do. It also might help saddle makers improve their products in ways that will benefit more of us. And check out some of my other videos, including those you see beside me, that will help you decide what other gear you might want to get next and where to get it. Thanks for watching. See you again in the next video.